But we actually want to kind of form a, a more permanent community of like-minded people out here. And the idea is to create small villages throughout the acreage um, where people come in and they contribute to the farming aspect or to maybe a handicraft aspect or cooking or they somehow give to the project and it it would be you know more of a communal living type situation that all revolves around farming and art. It's interesting to me on an everyday basis what it is like to live here and it's really nurturing for me too. Um, I live in New York City it's all about money and status and aggression and this is a really different kind of life out here. The idea is that art breaks down and the barrier between art and artist, I mean artist, art and the audience becomes sort of indecipherable. Um, which I feel like is kind of what we're doing here, you know, we're, we're trying to bring creativity into every aspect of our lives and um, creating a, a place where farming becomes an artistic act. Um, building buildings is an artistic act. I've always had the mindset that art doesn't need to be separated from life and uh, so it doesn't need to be on a fr in a frame on a wall, it is what you do. The environment itself I think is the art project. I think it's important for artists to come out and have something to see. <laughs> step into a farm, yeah, yeah, like step into a working farm um, so that that's influencing the work they're making and their thought pattern when they're out here. I do think there is a movement happening um, between people wanting a change and people wanting to not be restricted. I do, I do think there's value right now in particular to learn how to live a bit more close to the ground. I think we use a lot of resources in our life today that may not be around like 50, 60 years from now. There's so many different kinds of revolutions, but those that just buck the system and throw it over, well then the system just gets put back in place. Farmers are the true revolutionaries because they're not doing that. They're just living and creating an example and setting a new structure. And before you know it, I think that that structure will have permeated society. And people will just start thinking differently about food. In this society, it's very easy to feel powerless. And so I think farmers are some of the few people who are taking the power back into their own hands. In other countries, people have not forgotten how to do all this stuff. Um, but we have here, a lot of us have, many people live close to the land here and the people in the cities don't understand that. I, I think there's a lot of value. This is the future, I think.